Okay, so for notebook sample number six, we're going to sew a basted seam. Base stitch is a temporary stitch. The idea is that we're going to take it out later. So when we sew it, we want to make it easy to take out. So what we do is we usually make the stitch length longer, um, just so it's easier to pull out. And this is the only seam and stitch that we do not backstitch typically. Um, because we don't want it to stay in forever. If backstitch holds your seam, well, a basic seam is temporary, so we want to take it out, so usually we don't backstitch. There's really no need to. So to do our basted seam, I cut another swatch five inches by five inches, and then I cut it in half so that I could seam it together, and I'm gonna put right sides together, raw edges even. So I'm putting my right sides together, and I'm lining up my raw edges so that they are even. Then I'm going to put my pins in and I'm going to be sewing straight down here with a half inch seam allowance. So I want to make sure I put my pins in perpendicular to that seam. There we are. Okay, great. So now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. So in sewing the base stitch, it's important that you know where your stitch length dial is on your sewing machine. Each sewing machine is a little different, so you might want to look in your user manual. Um, this particular home machine has these little stitch lines here. Um, you know, see how one's longer and it gets shorter? That's to signify that this is the dial to change the length. Um, so the higher the number, the longer the stitch. So for the base stitch, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to about a four. Typically when we sew um, in this class, we'll sew, you know, about two and a half, maybe three. Um, but for the base stitch, we're going to change the dial to a four. Okay, to sew my basted stitch, I, again, want to line up my raw edge to the engraved line at half an inch. I will lower my presser foot, and this time I am not going to back stitch. My stitch length has been changed to four, and I'm ready to just I'll pull out my pin. get to the edge of the fabric, but I don't sew past it because I don't want to cause a jam. When I'm finished, I make sure my take-up lever is in the highest position, and that way I will be able to pull my fabric out. Lift up my presser foot and pull it to the back. 